Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to take a look at uh, the relationship between the pin and the piston and how to install the clips that retain the pin into the piston. So out of the pieces of your human body that have the most nerve endings, the fingertips are in the top five and you're going to use them to kind of feel around for sharp edges. The fact that this pin will not pass through this piston, there is a very small unhappy little edge somewhere. This one has already kind of been worked out, so it just kind of falls through. Um, your machine shop is probably going to bill you for pin fitting. The manufacturer has probably billed you for pin fitting and everyone will probably claim that everything should just slide together as it is. Um, you're going to find enough that it's going to cause this pin to stick. If you find some sharp edges or some burrs, I just take uh, some fine emery cloth or some sandpaper and just kind of drag it around the area and create a radius on the piece of material that you're working on to get any high spots off the machined edge. If the pin will fall through the piston, you know that you've got it all clean. When you're working with these circlips, a uh, couple little tips. Inevitably, you're going to shoot one of these things across the room and you're going to have to go look for it. And it's just part of the game if you're not careful. You want to put the circlip about halfway into the pin, then use your thumb. And I just use this little angled pick to roll the edge in slowly and then once I have it uh, about halfway in I'll just use the pin and I can just seat it right in with that so you hear it click so this is good to go it's just about having um, you know a good a good clean uh, edge free burr free trash free debris free assembly to ensure that you're not putting any material in these pin bores you want to make sure the pin turns freely after it's assembled because a very small piece of metal or a very small scratch in this pin bore can just perpetuate into a larger problem as the engines run. So I hope you're taking away some information from these little bits. Uh, next week we're going to do um, spark plug heat range and plug gap and how you'll kind of work that into your uh, tuning recipe. So stay tuned.